tutorial, I would be walking you through the deployment of self-managed Kubernetes cluster in Azure using Kube ADM. Before I proceed with the tutorial, uh, there are a few prerequisites that uh, needs to be present uh, in, in, in your system. And you should have an Azure subscription. If you don't have, you can create a free trial subscription and can use that. You can use Azure Cloud Shell or you can install Azure CLI on your laptop or desktop, whatever you are using. Uh, you need to create a service principle and a key vault uh, along with the resource group. Then we will walk with the flow. The flow has been mentioned in front of your screen that we will be first creating uh, a resource group with K8 uh, lab RG3. We will create one VNet. Then we will deploy four Linux VMs. One will be used as master Kubernetes node and the other three would be the worker nodes, which would be part of an availability set. Then we will prepare the Kubernetes cluster master and node instances. That means we will load the Docker's configuring the Docker daemon for the Kubernetes. Post that we will install kubectl, kubelet and kube ADM uh, or packages on all the nodes, including master and the worker nodes. Then we will create a kube ADM file, which will, be, which will be a YAML file and a cloud configuration file. We will use these files while bootstrapping the master node for Kubernetes. We will see how we will do it. The other thing is that we will then use the Kube, uh, Kubernetes cluster uh, by creating a Kube config on the master node. Once that has been done, then we will set up a network add-in. You can use multiple network solutions like Calico, Flannel, Weave, etc. Here we will use Weave, uh, sorry, Calico. And post that, we will be joining the worker nodes to the cluster. So let's uh, see, I will just uh, show you like what prerequisites we have. So we have an Azure subscription, my subscription that I'm using. Then I have created one resource group, R, this one. And I have created one key vault in it uh, with the name KV8, KVK8 cluster. If I go in there, you will find uh, the, you need to create a key in here with this name and it will be having one version. So you need to note down all these versions. I've already noted it down. I will just show you when I would be onto that step. Other than that, there is the service principle that I have created. So the service principle name, I will just show you. This one is the service principle that has been created. And I have noted down all the client ID, tenant ID and uh, the IDs. And if I go into secrets, I have created one secrets. I have got the value which you can find only for the first time when you are creating it. So let's get started. So I will be moving on to this resource group. And in here, I have already opened a cloud shell, which is here. So let's get started. We will be following a set of commands. So resource group we have already created. So here we are choosing East US region for the deployment. So the first step that we're gonna do is we will create an Azure virtual network along with a subnet and the range we are using in phrase in front of you 172.10.0.14 while it is going on we will be setting up the variables here once that gets created we will set up all the variables like in the cloud shell and we will be using those while creating the master nodes which will be part of the same resource group so all these things we will be covering so here the virtual network has been created if i refresh this page it may take a bit of time or refresh this page it's going to take some time 
so here we have a virtual network and a subnet that's been created so now I will be setting up the variables as we as mentioned in the step all this uh, document I have uploaded onto my github repository I will share the link at the end of the video so we have set up the variables and stored the values in the variables which will be used in the coming scripts now we will be creating a master node with the name cube master if you see in here which will be part of the same resource group location would be east us image would be ubuntu lts we would be using azure user now ssh key values so this i have already created and if i do in here so you will see that i have already created in earlier uh, and it's been used for my linux workloads and we had the vm that it would be created it will have a standard ds2 v2 uh, vm size and it will also contain a data disk so and it will all contain the public ips so let me go ahead and create it for you so it's in the process of running and then we will create an availability sets now the purpose of availability set is that all the worker nodes in terms of the fault tolerance will be part of this availability set so if you go in here we have specified the availability set as in here the name of the availability set is this one so we are placing all the uh, resources in the same resource group and we will delete once uh, we have deployed the Kubernetes cluster just to save the costs. We need not run the workloads running on the port on the Azure platform because there is a charge for everything. While it's going on, it's been created now let's create the availability set then I will be creating this there would be three worker node 0 1 2 so there's a for loop which is being used it's a kind of script and there we will be creating all the nodes in here the worker nodes then once that is done we will go into the portal and see like how it looks like what we have created and all so, so far if we go in here so you see in here like what we have created so far so we have got the availability set as well now We'll come on to that so let's deploy the worker nodes in the process now these worker nodes would be installed seems it's 